Hey guys, Christopher Green. I'm doing a few videos today. I've got a lot of content. I want to talk about flat earth. And this is something I've had zero interest in, zero interest at all, until I saw the blanket censorship. Until I saw the disinfo and the misinformation being put out by companies like Walt Disney Company and mainstream personalities. And I noticed things like when you search it in a search engine, all you get is misinformation. You don't even get real critical thought on it. So I started researching, I started looking into it. More importantly, I, st I started studying scripture, literal scripture. I revisited Genesis, for example. And I wanna read to you what it says about the firmament, flat earth, and then I wanna talk a little bit about these misinformation propaganda campaigns being released by mainstream uh, YouTube personalities like Logan Paul to discredit the truth potentially, and also others that are being used to discredit the conspiracy theory movement, people like Shane Dawson. All of these people work for the same entities, and my video editor noticed this, have the same video editor. It's the same editor because they're all a part of the same Hollywood studio in uh, Los Angeles, and they're using the same techniques and the same propaganda tactics. Take it from a guy who is a student of propaganda and is literally an expert. I've been studying this for more than a decade now, and this is the messaging putting out, being put out by your government and mainstream media institutions. Again, I wasn't even interested in this until I saw the blanket censorship, which tells me there's truth to it. Tells me that they're panicking. They're in panic mode, and they don't want us to have real tangible information. More importantly, they don't want you to think critically about it. See, we're in the information age. There's so, in, so much information, they can't shut down individual ideas. What they can do is muddy the waters. And this is what the tactic is. This is why Logan Paul just did a video on Flat Earth. It's why Shane Dawson just did a series of videos on conspiracy theories. It's to discredit the real truth, real independent critical thinking, and really uh, the scientific process. Isn't that what critical thinking is? Investigating ideas and, and then seeing it to verify if, it, if it's actual fact and factual information. So let's revisit uh, Genesis, because a lot of people have missed this. We talked about this in studio. And I'm going to read to you, this is from the King James Version, the exact biblical wording and text. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. The face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Light and darkness. He divided it. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. That was day one. Then God said, let there be a firmament. Firmament. Go look this up. What is a firmament? The firmament is heaven. Let me read that again. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. In the middle of the waters. Let's read that one more time. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. So there's a firmament and it's dividing water from water.
Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Let me read that paragraph again and study it very closely. Then God said, let there be a firmament. The firmament is the heaven. That's, that's the heaven, the stars, the sun, the moon. And in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. Two sets of water. So we have the firmament, we have the water below it of which God creates land. The firmament is the heavens, the stars, the sun, the moon, all within our own atmosphere. And above that is more water. A lot of people don't catch this. It's more water. Water, firmament, water. Let's read that again. Then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So again, just like I said, the firmament is heaven. Below are the waters. That's where the land was created. And it talks about it in a minute. In the firmament, you've got the heavens, the stars, the sun, the moon, and above that, you've got another water uh, level, uh, more water. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. So I'll leave it there. But basically, let's reemphasize. Again, take, a, take your opinion out of the equation on flat earth for a moment. Just take it out. If you're a Christian, listen to what I just read to you. Listen to the holy book. That was the biblical scripture from Genesis. In the very beginning, a lot of people miss, miss this. Those are the exact, that's the exact biblical text. What does it tell us? Again, let's uh, uh, reemphasize. There's a firmament that was created on day two. That's the heavens. That's where God is. That's the sun and the moon and the stars being used for navigation, testimony to God, signs, weather. There's a couple different things that it talks about. Below that is water of which land appeared and was created by God. So you've got that there, the firmament above it, and above that, you also have water. Water, firmament, firmament, water. Water, firmament, water. Study this yourself. Don't take my word for it. That is actually, in reality, what the Bible says. So what does that mean? When I read that to you, did it conjure up a sphere? I mean, honestly, just I'm not even telling you what the answer is. Did it conjure a sphere? Did you know any of this before watching this video? Most of you, probably not. A lot of you, probably yes. I'm probably preaching to the choir, to my own audience, because you guys are very educated in this area. I didn't conjure up an image of a sphere. In fact, I find it interesting that there's water above the heavens. You also have to keep in mind that this is pre-Noah, and this is pre-flood. So the continents might have looked a lot different. The landmass would look a lot different. The whole stasis of this eternal beginning just like we see in Revelation, the eternal state of not really an ending, but the eternal state uh, uh, through the tribulation and all these kinds of things and the coming of Christ. This is what is actually described. So when I hear, let's go back to Logan Paul and these people say, say things like, well, I don't trust anything, Na and they're discrediting. I don't trust NASA. I don't, dis I don't trust, you know, means, and he's making fun of it. And I see these giant misinformation campaigns to muddy the waters, all of this disinfo. I see it scrubbed from the internet. It tells me that there's something here that they don't want you to know. It tells me that mainstream science, NASA, and more importantly, our government powers are panicking. So they're hiring through the same companies that they own, because there's only six companies, by the way, companies like Walt Disney that own all of the media. It's the same mainstream media. In fact, Walt Disney is now buying Fox, Fox News, right? The conservative alleged giant, it's all the same. It all, it's all under the same darn pyramid of Satan, okay? And uh, the point is, they're panicking and they don't want you to know. There's a reason we're seeing so much information on flat earth and why... It, look, if it's a wild conspiracy theory, why do they need to discredit it? If it's a wild conspiracy theory and it isn't the truth, 
and no one's going to believe it because they're smart enough to think on their own, why do they need to discredit it? Why do they need, and these same people, keep, keep in mind, Logan Paul, Disney is the parent company. I'm pretty sure he gets a check from Walt Disney. Why would they then put out these misinformation campaigns? I mean, ask yourself these logical questions. I think we know the answer, and I think we know the reason. That's it. I'm going to keep the video very short. Read it for yourself. Pick up the holy book. That was the King James Version. Read about the firmament, the water above, and the water below. And then, you know, what do you see? How is the Holy Spirit speaking to you? What do you think? I'm not, and by the way, I'm not in closing. I'm not saying the earth is flat. I'm not saying that. I honestly had no interest. I think I had a one person on years ago on Flat Earth just because I wanted to hear what they said. And I was like, eh, you know, I just kind of wrote it off. I actually think there's some truth here, though, because of the cover-up. <laughs> because I'm seeing this vast propaganda campaign being run at a very super high level. And again, I'm a student of this. Something is not adding up. And to me, what it looks like is they're trying to black this out, paint a picture that you're a lunatic or a conspiracy theorist, which is why they invented the very term conspiracy theory. It came from the CIA and Central Intelligence Agency so that you, you wouldn't take these things seriously and you wouldn't even think about them critically. All I'm asking you to do with this video is think about it critically. And then I want to hear your opinion. So is the earth flat? 